Washington, the FBI's embattled deputy director, Andrew G. McCabe, an unlikely lightning rod who has been attacked repeatedly by President Trump and congressional Republicans, is expected to retire after he becomes eligible for his pension early next year, according to people familiar with his decision. While M. R. McCabe's plans to leave aren't unexpected, his decision should take some of the pressure off Christopher A. Ray, who was confirmed as FBI director in August M. R. Trump has complained to confidants that M. R. Ray has not moved fast enough to replace the senior leadership that he inherited from his predecessor, James B. Comey, whom M. R. Trump summarily dismissed in May. A White House official said in a statement this week that many senior leaders of the bureau were politically motivated and said M. R. Ray was the right choice to clean up the misconduct at the highest levels of the FBI. On Saturday, M. R. Trump went after M. R. McCabe and M. R. Comey again in a fusillade on Twitter. And he seemed to mock M. R. McCabe for delaying his departure until his pension is fully vested in March. In fact, as a career civil servant, M. R. McCabe, 49, has protections and cannot be pushed out by the president. M. R. McCabe, who was appointed deputy director in January 2016, has endured one of the most contentious periods in the FBI's history. He has had to deal with mass shootings and terrorist attacks that have rattled the country while navigating the incendiary politics of two highly charged investigations. He dealt with the FBI investigation into whether Hillary Clinton mishandled classified information when she used a private email server. Republicans, including M.R. Trump, have relentlessly criticized the FBI for the way it handled that investigation. Mrs. Clinton was not charged, nor were any of her aides. M. R. McCabe has also been deeply involved in the FBI's investigation into Russia's interference in the 2016 election and the potential involvement of the Trump campaign. The Russia investigation is being led by a special counsel, Robert S. Mueller III who has already charged four people associated with M.R. Trump's presidential campaign. One of them, a foreign policy advisor, has pleaded guilty to lying about his contacts with the Russians, while another pleaded guilty to lying about his conversation with the Russian ambassador to the United States. M.R. Mueller's inquiry has infuriated the president, who has called the investigation a witch hunt and has pressed repeatedly for a shake-up at the FBI. M. R. McCabe was deputy director when the FBI opened the investigation in July 2016. The president crowed on Saturday that James A. Baker, the FBI general counsel, who was seen as an ally of M. R. Comey's, would soon step down from that post, although he will remain at the bureau. M. R. McCabe became a political pinata after his wife decided to run as a Democrat for a Virginia state Senate seat. As part of her campaign, she accepted nearly $500,000 in contributions from the political organization of Gov. Terry McAuliffe, a longtime friend of Mrs.